What's going on guys? Rhino Bones testing this thing out. Let me uh, swap my windows around here. So I've got a new setup. I've got two monitors going on. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit confusing. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I have something to unbox today. I've been waiting to unbox it, but I don't think this really needs an actual video. So I figured I would just unbox this thing on a Twitch stream here. So yeah, there you go. So I've got uh, Batman's Deluxe Cowl. This is from Running Press. Uh, lights up, comes with a 48 page book and uh, it's awfully heavy. I think it might actually be made out of metal. Let's see here. The Bat Cowl is one of the most iconic symbols of Batman, the world's greatest superhero. High quality, one of a kind collectible replica for fans of the legendary Caped Crusader. The kit includes cowl with illumination feature at the lenses. So he's got light up eyeballs. Uh, die cast metal base. Okay, so it's the base that's the heavy part. Uh, removable dome cover so I can rub the cowl. 48 page book, Shades of Black. The mini costumes of Batman on the superhero's many different looks throughout the years. Featuring full color illustrations. That's pretty cool. Uh, back of the box price says $39.95 or $52 in Canada. I just looked it up on Amazon and it's right now going for $37 in the US. I got this bad boy for free. One of my co-workers uh, just happened to pick this up at a rummage sale. And I saw it and I said I have to have that. So I got it. That's cool. Thank you. So let's open this thing up. You know, probably the one thing I'm not enjoying about this whole OBS experience, uh, with Twitch at least. That's weird. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't get to see the chat window or anything, so I don't know if anybody's in here watching me or not. So, uh-oh. Um, how do I get this out without breaking stuff? That's not the way to do it. Let's see. Ages eight and up. I don't. I don't think this is for me. Maybe I'll push it from the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh. That was a fun unboxing. And we got the book here. We got the product. Product information sheet. So that's trash. Let's set this thing off to the side. And throw this away, because don't need any of that junk. Uh, check out the book first. Shades of Black, the mini costumes of Batman. Nice uh, hardbound book. I'm surprised by that. Most of the other running press things I've got, uh, like my little uh, Enterprise up there, and I've got a phaser. I've got a few other running press things. It's kind of my thing. I love running press stuff. If I got little flimsy paperbacks. Not that I'm complaining, they're pretty cool books, but... Oh, hey. So, here's the type of things we got there. That well, looks pretty good. But does it tell us about it? Let's see. Oh, man. There's some pretty decent art in here. I like that. In the mind of each and every Batman fan is a different interpretation of the fabled Dark Knight. To some, he appears as if he's stepped right out of a feature film, clad in all black rubbery bat suit. Others picture a lean man in a blue cowl with draped over a gray bodysuit, an iconic yellow oval bat symbol. Still others imagine a man in armor-like boots and gauntlets with a black bat worn proudly on his chest. Um, I kind of see Adam West. Adam West. Well, Michael Keaton, too. So let's see here. Chapter 1, Dawn of the Dark Knight. Wow. It's got some nice uh, covers here. Check that out. Well, that's pretty sharp. I like that. So it says it has some costumes in here. Oh, ho. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I think I just saw my favorite character. I did not. I saw Bane. I don't care about Bane. All right, so it looks like uh, this mainly goes through the type of outfits that he wears in the comic books. I did not see the animated series in here. That's okay. Didn't see any Michael Keaton. Didn't see Christian Bale. 
Didn't see any of the, the new one. What's his name? The Witcher? The Witcher Batman? Didn't see him in there. Eh. So comic book bat, a-okay with me. Let's check out the actual cowl. Um, looks like plastic dome here. Metal base. And it looks like I've got to unscrew this thing and put some batteries in. Think there's already some? There are not already some in there. Well, yeah, take a look at Mr. Batman. Ooh. I'm going to remove this. There we go. Ooh. Ooh that, is, that is nice. That is not at all what I expected. It's actual rubber. That feels great. Check that out. Ha oh, oh. ha. I'm Batman. Ha oh. ha. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's uh, open this thing up and get some batteries in there. Hopefully I've got some. Ace. It's the place for the helpful hardware, folks. Right. Looks like uh, two triple A's. I don't know if I've got that or not. Here's one. And here's the wah. All right. That's surprising. I was not expecting to have any extras. All right. You ready? <laughs> that, that was super anticlimactic. Let me turn the little light off here. Maybe that'll help. There you go. Get him right there in the middle. Yeah, still pretty anticlimactic. I don't know, it actually looks pretty cool, though. I kind of like that a lot. Mmm. Okay. This thing is awesome. Is it $40 worth of awesome? No stinking way is it free worth of awesome absolutely definitely worth free um i might have paid five bucks for it if i had to but i would probably not pay more than that i mean they did a great job it feels awesome but you're really not supposed to be feeling it up um the base is pretty good it is very very thin die cast you know they really missed an opportunity by not having that symbol light up that's a shame. That symbol should totally light up. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, there you go. Batman's cowl from Running Press. Uh, worth $40? Probably not. This piece by itself worth maybe five or six? Definitely. Um, this, piece, this piece here plus the book. Honestly, I'd probably pay about 15 bucks total. That's all I would pay. So this is about double the price it should be. I'm actually kind of shocked because their little ones, the RP minis there, they're actually reasonably reasonably priced. You can pick those up for, I don't know, five bucks sometimes, seven bucks sometimes. I think the most I've ever paid for one is 10. Most of the time I'm able to get them on sale. So yeah, I guess there's probably a reason why I was given that one for free and why that was at a rummage sale. But golly, 40 bucks for that. I don't think so. 15 bucks? Absolutely. So if you find one of these bad boys for 15 bucks, I'd say it's totally worth it. I mean, the style is great. It looks fantastic. I'm going to take that right off again. It looks fantastic. I know it's kind of tough to see too well, but it really does look great. It's a shame the lot. <laughs> Uh, it's a shame those eyes aren't just a smidge brighter, though. Yeah, there you go. It's nice enough. I mean, putting this on my shelf. Not sure if I'll be putting him with a regular Batman shelf that's up there behind me. You can kind of see that in the picture there. You can see Batman's feet hanging down. Not sure if I'm going to put this up there, if I'm going to find a... You know what? I think I've got a special place for it right over there behind the camera. Where I've got a couple of other knick-knack type things that just don't really belong with action figures. So yeah, I got a place for it. You can't have it. I'm happy with it. Definitely happy because I got it for free. If I had actually had to pay money for it, I would not be happy with it. But the book is pretty stinking cool. I am going to look through this. It is more than just pictures. There's actual words. So um, yeah, it's not just a picture book. See? Bane. <laughs> Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I enjoyed opening it up. I'll see you guys later. It was a short one, but uh, yeah. 
Bye-bye.